Hey everyone, it's Mom Ring Makeup, and you have to excuse my voice. Um, I have been sick last week, and finally my voice just gave out. So I can talk, but it's hard to understand me, so I'm really, really sorry. But I um, got a request from some of the moms on Cafe Mom. Um, they wanted me to do a smoke, or she wanted me to do a smoky eye using the Hip Duo Platinum, which is this color right here, and it's like a, a black and a silver, so if you have a black and a silver, you can do this look. It's really simple. Um, you need some primer potion, a piece of tape, the colors, two brushes. The brushes you need are an eyeshadow brush, um, a, a crease brush or a blending brush, and then you need a highlighter, and for the highlighter I'm using, um, what am I using? Oh, my Ulta eyeshadow in Iceland. So if you have a black, a silver, and a, a highlighter, you can do this look. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to primer up our eye with um, Urban Decay's Primer Potion. Um, I saw a lot of people in the post asking, like, you know, what's the difference between, the, you know, a primer and a base? Um, sometimes I use Urban Decay Primer Potion and a NYX Jumbo Crayon in the color that I'm put of the eyeshadow I'm putting. So the reason why I do that is the primer is to prime my eyes so my color doesn't crease and it stays longer. The base is so that the color is more vibrant. So the color um, it sticks double. I guess you could say double. So <laughs> that's why I use the two. So so. First thing we're going to do is, the second thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the silver color, which is, the, I believe, the platinum color. And we're going to use an eyeshadow brush, and I'm just going to use a flat, shader br a flat shadow brush. I'm going to use it like this right here. This is my MAC brush, just a flat, stiff brush. And we're going to apply the silver along the, the lid. So, let's see if I can get up here. So just put that all along your lid. I notice with this color it doesn't take very well, so you have to get a little extra. So touch your skin and then shade it on there. Just go just below the crease, just on the crease. Don't go any higher. And you can do this with any color. Um, a smoky eye is very simple. You just need, um, like for instance, if you wanted to use maybe the, uh, a nude color and a black, you could do that too. Um, I've done a smoky eye with blue and black, red and black, green and black. So you can smoke out anything you want. You just um, just will let learn the technique, and I can show you that. So now we're going to, oh, my earring keeps falling off. Okay, so now we're going to take a blending brush, which is this brush here. And I am you're going to be using, um, it's NYX. It's called the Contour Dome Brush. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, you're just going to take it into the, um, the shadow like this. Just circle it on there, dab it, get some on your brush, tap off any extra. And you're going to start in your crease. And your crease is the part of your eye, your eyeball, and your brow bone. So if you stick the brush right there, that's your crease you can see. Now before we go any further, I forgot to put tape. So take a piece of tape, put it on the back of your hand, and um, get like the stickiness off because I don't want it to hurt when I take it off. So I'll go ahead and just put it right there. And we're going to be using this as a guide so that we go, don't go past it and both of my eyes are even. So take some more of that black, take the dust off any excess, excess sorry, and just start uh, wiggling it around on the outer corner of your eye. So it kind of look like this. No, no, don't get any more black. This is enough black to do this look for now. So we're going to use windshield wiper motions back and forth. Right now we only want to work little by little. So we don't want to go all the way over yet. Oops. You just want to go little circles. And then we go a little towards the inner of the uh, center of the eye. And then we're going to go a little more. 
And what this is called, it's called the windshield wiper motion because it looks like a windshield wiper back and forth, back and forth. But you want to do it little by little because if you go too fast, you're going to add too much too fast and you can't take away once you've added too much. Another thing I've learned is if you hold your brush towards the bottom of the brush, you have, believe it or not, you have more control of the brush. So I always hold it towards the end so it's kind of loose. So when my brush is on my eye, I can freely move it so it's more of a natural, you know, it puts the color on evenly and nicer. I really hope you guys can understand me. This is going to suck if you guys can't. I'm so sorry. So just go ahead and blend that black in back and forth. Okay, and I'm going to take the tape off. And you're left with that. And I'm going to blend that line out because I don't like how harsh it is. So we're going to use um, a big fluffy brush. And we're going to apply um, a, a highlighter. And this color I'm going to be using is from my Ulta. These are my, my, high, like my naturals and my highlights. These are Ulta eyeshadows. And we're going to be using Iceland. So just take a little bit on the brush and apply it to the highlighter, to the uh, brow bone. Just dab it on there. I'm going to come over here where that harsh line is and just gently just pick at it, kind of. And I think that's good. <clears throat> Add a little more black because I like it a little more darker. But you don't have to add this black. For more the women that like to Leave it a little more, you know, lighter. And when if you want to add more, just dab it on there with the tip of your dome brush. And then just uh, smoke it out this way. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply the liquid eyeliner. Today I'm going to use liquid. Usually I use my uh, cream liner, but I just don't feel like messing with it. So I'm going to be using Prestige. And I like Prestige because it has a stiff tip, but it's not, it's not that stupid brush that's so hard to use. So what you want to do is, I'm going to be doing a tutorial, a better in-depth tutorial, sometime this week on how to apply liquid liner. Um, just right now I'm going to put it on just to show you, just to finish this look, but look out, watch out for that video if you want to learn how to apply liquid liner. Oh, it's so hard to talk. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is touch your eye a little bit, and I start at the center and I just drag it along. And uh, I'm just doing a thin layer. I'm not doing it too thick. Okay, just like that. I'm going to let that dry while I'm letting that.